Hey, this is Anthony with Stunt Bumps. Today we're going to be installing a shark fin on one wheel needle spike. A shark fin is just a really simple piece of metal that is meant to protect your fingers from getting caught inside your chain. Uh, you can build them really easily. Again, sometimes they have 90 degree bends to mount them on the other side of the swing arm. Sometimes they're completely flat to mount them on the side. It sort of depends on how your swing arm is designed. Uh, every bike comes with a stock chain guard which covers the top side of your sprocket and chain. But you got to think about when your chain is actually, when your wheel is rotating forward, you know your hand's not going to get caught anywhere up here. But down here, your hand will get caught right there in your chain. And you know a lot of people have lost fingers due to that. So you know, uh, ten dollar shark fins are really good insurance policy towards losing some fingers on your motorcycle. So the shark fins really easy to install. You know you're going to spend about twenty minutes out here installing it. You're going to need a shark fin. Again, you can build one of these or buy one of these. I'm going to link a couple of websites you can buy them from in the article. You're going to need two rivet nuts. Again, these are going to, I'll have links to buy these in the article. Then you're just going to need two bolts. Uh, you don't want them to be too long because the swing arms aren't completely hollow inside and you don't want them to bottom out when you're installing it. As for the actual tools for installing, you're going to need a hammer, a center punch to help you uh, you set your hole up that you're going to be drilling. You're going to need some drill bits and a drill. So to start out, you're sort of going to line up your shark fin. This one happens to fit perfect right around this swing arm spool mount. Get it lined up. Put your punch in the middle. Then you're just going to tap it. Make your little indentation where you're going to drill. Now we're going to grab a small drill bit, really small one. Go ahead and drill a pilot hole. Now I don't remember the exact size for the uh, final hole you need to make, so we're just going to sort of keep getting larger and larger on our drill bit until we get one that fits us perfect. You don't want to drill over drill because if you over drill this thing isn't going to fit in snug, or the rivet nut isn't going to fit in snug, and uh, it's just going to spin around loosely. So I'll put the actual size we end up using in the article as well. Alright, so basically we've drilled the hole, we ended up using a 3 8 drill bit. Um, it's really tight in there, again, you don't want to make it loose, it's not going to install right if you do that. Um, put the, the uh, bolt in just a little bit, just tap it in place with a hammer ever so lightly. It's in place. All right, so now we're going to take the bolt, run it through the shark fin, put it in the rivet nut, slowly start screwing it in. And as we get to the end and we start uh, getting tighter and tighter, what's going to happen is the rivet nut's going to start flaring out. And uh, if you've made the hole too loose, the rivet nut won't grip, and it'll just spin as opposed to flaring out. Uh, they make a specific tool to <laughs> keep you from doing this, but, you know... Knock on wood, so far I've never needed it as long as you know I don't over drill. And again, since we're not using the actual tool for these rivet nuts, you, you know you don't want them to spin on you, so you want to put really good pressure uh, on the bolt to press it into the swing arm. That way, you know it ha you're putting as much friction on it as possible to keep it from spinning. We got one of the uh, holes for the shark fin installed well. We're going to leave that one attached. You know, use the punch again. We're just going to put it in the other hole. Do the same process as earlier. So again, we have our pilot hole drilled. We're not going to go straight up to the 3 8s. We're going to use another uh, intermediate bit just 
That way, we, you know, we don't mess up this hole. So again, we want it to be a really nice, tight fit. Put the uh, one we've already done sort of loosely in, just to help line up. Going to install the new one in here. So as you can see, Neil now has two permanent places to uh, screw in the shark fin. Uh, once you're all done, you want to uh, put some blue Loctite on these bolts uh, because the last thing you want to do when trying to make your bike more safe is to you know, not put these bolts in tight enough and the shark fin get caught in your chain <laughs> and make you wreck. Shark fin is done, ready to go. Neil's not going to be losing any digits if he has an unfortunate wreck and sticks his hand back here near the chain anymore. Just a quick note, a couple people asked me uh, why we don't use like sheet metal screws or why we don't uh, tap threads into the swing arm for the shark fin. I've tried that a couple times. I used sheet metal screws and I've also tried tapping and it's just that the swing arms are so thin that the first time you have a wreck and catch the edge, like look, look at the shark fin right here. You can see where every time you wreck, you know, you, you still sometimes hit these and grind them down. With sheet metal screws and with uh, tap threads, the shark fin will rip right out. So putting in the rivet nuts is a really good permanent, uh, permanent solution for it.